When you drink a glass of water, what you may not realise is that the water you're drinking once fell from the sky, possibly any time from a few days to a few years ago, and that the water that fell from the sky was once part of the ocean. In fact, the water that you've just used to quench your thirst may be as old as the earth itself. You might not have realised it, but the amount of water on earth is limited. It's continually being cycled round in something called the water cycle. The water cycle has a few main parts. They include evaporation, condensation, precipitation and collection. What sources of water are available for evaporation? This is where water turns from a liquid to a gas. Pause the video and try to name at least four sources. Some correct answers include any body of water, from a puddle to a pond, from a pond to a lake, from lakes to rivers, and from rivers to seas. All of these act as bodies of water that can be evaporated. The water is turned into a vapour and goes into the air. An unusual source of water comes from plants. Plants transpire. Essentially this means lose water from their leaves. Similarly, animals sweat or perspire. All of these processes cause water to evaporate. Once the water has entered the atmosphere, what do you think happens next? Pause the video and continue when you think you have an answer. The correct answer is that the water vapour cools and condenses. When it does this, it forms clouds. You can see this effect for yourself. Take a cold glass of water and place it outside. Water vapour will condense on the outside of the glass. The water does not leak through, it came from the warm air and is condensed on the outside of the cold glass. Once all of the water is collected in the cloud, you know what happens next. It falls back down. A fancy word for this is precipitation and it can take many forms. Can you name a few? Pause the video and continue when you can name at least four forms of precipitation. The correct answers include rain, howl, sleet and snow. For those of you who live in warmer climates, howl is condensed irregular ice crystals. Sleet is a term used to describe a mixture of snow and rain. Finally, snow is a form of crystallised water. In the end, the water is collected. It can be collected on land where it either soaks back into the earth, becoming groundwater from which plants and animals can drink, or it may run over the soil collecting in lakes, oceans and rivers, where you guessed it, the water cycle then repeats.